Greetings hobbyists, this is Arslan of Vool. And in this video we're going to have a look at the toggle region function in Machine Tools. So if you don't know Machine Tools, it is a free add-on that you can get from GitHub. And I think Blender Marketplace as well. There's also a paid for version that's called the DSX version. And that has a few extra little funky things as well. But most of the functionality is free. And basically this is all about making your life easier in Blender. It does nice things like having this tab menu so that when you hit it you can swap to vertex or face or edge mode really quickly. And it is really that fast to swap between them. And then you can come back to object mode. It's just nicer than using the 1, 2 and 3. And they've got a range of other things as well that I'm not going to go through all of them because you either know them or you can watch some other videos and find out about them. And there's a link in the description to some of those videos there. But recently it's had an update and they've added a new tool, which just like many of their other tools is very simple, but just adds a level of elegance to Blender that's just fantastic. So as you're probably aware, we have in Blender the T menu over on the left hand side and what's normally called the N menu on the right hand side. And shockingly, to get rid of the T menu, you press T. And then to get rid of the end menu, you press N. Except machines come up with the idea of, well, why not just have T for both? So that's hitting T and that's hitting T. And the way this works is all you have to do is move your mouse slightly over to the left and press T and it controls that side. And slightly over to the right and press T and it controls that side. And it just saves you a little bit of movement from going between that and N. But what gets really cool about this, and do notice that at the bottom here, I've got geometry nodes. Now, a lot of people have a timeline here, but regardless, a lot of people have something at the bottom. But if I come slightly towards the bottom and press T, it brings out my asset browser and my geometry nodes is still there, which is really cool. And then I can just bring that in and out as much as I want. It's just so simple, but so useful. So let's quickly have a look at how to set this up because you do need to set this up. So I've had to go back to a new file where I haven't saved the startup file, which is what you're going to do for this. So all you do is go to edit, preferences, and once you've installed your add-on, so coming up here and typing in machine tools, you just make sure that you've got this bit, toggle region just there is clicked. So you need that to be on. And as soon as you do that, it will work on the left side and the right side, and you've got that fine. It will also work on the bottom, but it's going to come up with this warning. And that's just because of the way Blender works. What you have to do is come up to this top menu here for your normal viewport, change that to your asset browser, and then just change it back to your 3D viewport. And then now this will work, but you'll notice when it closed it, it doubled the size of the panel that was there. In this instance, the geometry nodes panel. So all you're going to do is right click, join areas and bring it down and then just bring up an area here and then change that to whatever you want it to normally be. So for me, it's the geometry node editor. And I'll just put that back. And from now on, this will work. I can bring that up. Yep. And then bring it back down. Now to make sure this works every time you come into a file, just go to file defaults and save this as your startup file. Otherwise this will be a bit of a pain. And I think you need to do that to make sure this works each and every time. I'll also say that this also works in the top part as well. So you can have your asset browser up there if you want, whichever one you prefer. Now, I have mentioned that this would be really cool if you didn't need to have a panel at the bottom at all. So for example, it'd be really cool if you could actually set up what this was gonna be. For example, I'd love it that I could press T and this would bring geometry nodes up here and then T and then that brought the asset browser at the top. A machine said that they might have a look at that at some point in the future, which is really cool. And they're always really good at listening to what people want because as I said, they pretty much do things just to make your life in Blender easier. So there we go, now we're set up to go. We can just do this for anyone that we want and we can just quickly flip between the different panels just using the T key. Simple, but absolutely genius in my opinion. If you found that helpful, please do hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. And if you wanna help out further, there is a Patreon page where you get these videos a week ahead of time, ad free, and you get some other benefits as well. Have a great day, guys.